Hey Lewis, this is John Johnson from the Delta Eagle. Um, going up against a team like Appalachian State, I know you played against them a couple of times, and they they scored a lot of points on you guys. Although I, you've had two really good games against them, talk about the challenge of what they present as an offense. Um, really, it's like you got to be detail oriented. Um, you got to focus on the little stuff. Like they like to cut. You know, they real good at cutting. So you got to focus on that, and um, and then from there. The back half got to, you know, handle their business back there, too, because they will kill us over the top as well. And, and you've played up there. Uh, the environment of their home field advantage, they've been really good at home. Talk about what, what it's like playing there. Uh, it's kind of like in the Valley Dark, you know, like their fans will be over the top for them, and it's like we got nobody. And it's just, you know, it's just like we got to lock in and stick to, you know, stick to the team and just, and just focus on our little, you know, on the, on, the, on the game on our side. You know, it's just kind of hard to explain for real. You got to be, you got to be there in the game to really, you know, to really see what it is, see what, how it is, whatever. Uh, the defense has you know, had really two good performances over the last couple of weeks, holding Ole Miss to just 28 points. Uh, impressive performing against Alabama A&M. Uh, how do you guys just continue uh, to improve week in and week out on what you guys do on that side of the ball. Like I said, once again, we just like we just focus on the little details over and over again until we perfect perfect them. And um, that's just like if for excuse me for <laughs> to be a good defense, it's just I don't know. It's just kind of hard to explain. You just got to lock in and just focus focus on the little details. This is uh, Jamal Kennedy, Debbie State, 12 Sports in Montgomery. It's been six years since Troy's beaten App State. Um, last year, obviously, didn't go the way that you guys wanted it to to either. What do you remember about that game last year, and, you know, uh, how badly do you guys maybe just sort of want to snap that streak? Uh, we want to beat these guys bad, you know. Um, it's just like they're a beatable team. They just do the right thing, you know. We can't say that. But overall, they're a beatable team, and – we going it's gonna play out Saturday. Obviously the the big thing around this game right now, of course, is game day going to be in Boone for the for the showdown. Does that add any extra added pressure or how, how are you guys approaching that with kind of more of the national eye now on this game? They said it one more time. Guys, uh, with game day uh, gonna be at this game uh, against App State, how are you guys handling any of the outside noise with some uh, of the national eye now on it or does that change anything oh no that's not gonna change nothing and we're not letting that get to us coach said like he said in the meeting room he said don't let that get to you just stick to the game plan and just play ball we ain't, we ain't worried about that well let's talk about the defensive line anybody at any time can make a play for you guys just ready to rotating guys in you know bringing four new linemen in and anybody can make a play how, how deep are you guys in that linebacker that defense line rip? Oh, we, we three deep for real. We really got three rotations that can come in and, and play ball. Like, we got Buddha in front of me. He playing ball the whole line. And then we got my group, the second group. We can play ball the third group. They can get in and play ball. It's just like we got a whole rotation. So we're going to stay fresh. How does that benefit, you know, a defense especially? Are you being able to rotate guys in like that, keep, keep guys fresh at all times? It really benefits a lot. Like, it's just it helps out the defense. Helps out the secondary as well, like to where they don't have to run as you know as much and keep them fresh. So it helps out a lot. I know y'all haven't done what you wanted to do so far as a running back room, uh, having put up a lot of yardage, but y'all got a lot of talented backs. When you go back and look at the first two games on film, and what are you seeing? Why why maybe are y'all not being able to put more yardage out there? Um, you know, I'll probably say like just the details, like. Um, you know, because even like on like the offensive line or in the running backs, you know, there's always something you can improve on. Um, you know, even last game, uh, we still threw the ball very well. You know, it was just one of those games where you just have to be uh, unselfish and, you know, just watch your other brothers eat. Uh, you're going to App State. You, you played there right uh, two years ago. Um, uh, what was that environment like? I actually didn't play because I had um, I had COVID that game, but uh, when um, some of my teammates were talking about it, and then, you know, 
back then it was because we played late in the season that year, and you know they were just really just talking about how cold it was, really. <laughs> Uh, you know, we're 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 all really excited. You know, um, uh, with Coach Summerall here, and now we're uh, being able to um, open up Sun Belt play. You know, we're very excited, and it's going to be a great atmosphere with College Game Day being there. Come on, Abe, Jamal Kennedy here, Space Twelve Sports, Montgomery. Can you talk a little bit about what you've seen from the offense when you guys have gone? tempo and no huddle the last couple of weeks it seems like you've really found your rhythm and that's how you've kind of gotten things going oh uh, yeah you know um every time we've done tempo you know uh we've been able to take advantage of the defense not being able to good get a good call and you know with uh, that with tempo being like more of a um like every now and th every now and then thing you know uh teams don't really prepare for us like in that way so, you know, we've been using that as a uh, as an advantage towards us. And then just follow up question, could you talk about the difference that Rajay's made on your team, uh, not just the wide receiver group, but the offense as a whole? Uh, you know, he uh, uh, he he had a, a really good uh, fall camp and, um, you know, as y'all can see in the in the game, he's a difference maker. So, you know, we're glad that he's here. I'm glad that he's here. Y'all haven't run the ball as effectively as you would like so far this year. You got some good running backs. You got pretty good experience offensive line. Well, can you put your finger on it? Um, really, I would just say it's the it's it's Troy and B Troy right now. It's the pre snap and just the little details in our technique that we got to work on. That uh, we're going to get it, we're going to get a fix where we can run the ball better and. That's really what I can say. It's a little details within our set. It's Troy B. Troy, not uh, the other team just doing better than us or outworking us. It's, it's Troy B. Troy right now. And you're playing right next to Jake Andrews. His first year to start at center. Talk about his progress a little bit. Uh, Jake, outstanding, outstanding player, outstanding person. He's somebody you want to be around every day. He work. He, uh, he give you the example every day. He come the energy every day. And really, his 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 play speed for his, for itself. I'm sure DeAndre Yawari had a chance to look at App State a little bit. When you look at their defensive front, uh, what do you see there? Oh, they play hard. They play hard. Play after play. DeAndre uh, Justin McNally down at WTV Lions. Uh, the offense is kind of got off to a slower start. Uh, the first two games in the first half and the second half has really turned it around. Uh, how do you take that second half and maybe move into the first and, and get off to a, a better start against App State? Um, I think we're just going there with high confidence, have a good week of practice, um, and start fast. We got to have confidence with ourselves, within ourselves, as the whole the whole eleven that go on the field. We got to know during the week that we prepared to to go up there and do what we set to do. The excitement level for you guys getting to play in this game against App State with you know a game with a lot of national attention surrounding it. Oh, uh, um, I just say really it's another game. Like our coach say, um, be where your feet are. So I just we we, we haven't we haven't treat Ole Miss any different and them any different. He came in with the same mentality. So we're gonna go into App State. We know that it's a conference play game. So we know that this gonna count for uh, the goal that we're trying to re reach this year. But we're going to treat it as a new week. We're going to get to work today, start game plan against them, and then Saturday we'll be ready to go. Jamal Candy, Davis Bay, 12 Sports, and Montgomery. Do you think that playing at Ole Miss to start the season off, uh, being in that environment is going to help you guys get, you know, get prepared for App State, a, a similarly hostile environment? Oh, yes, most definitely. Um, I actually think that was – it, that game really just showed us that the atmosphere really don't matter to us. Um, SEC, HBCU, Sun Belt, whatever it is, we, we, we go play. We have one job to do. So I don't think the um, – the and DeAndre, with you being a senior, you've played a lot of football throughout your college career, throughout your life. Um, you know, how do you 
translate your football knowledge and all the environments that you've played in, how do you translate that to some of the, the other guys on the offensive line or on the offense to keep, keep everybody's, you know, um, their energy, you know, calm and um, I just tell them, like, when you get out there, it's another game. Like, I, I've i been playing for – starting playing ball five years, like starting five years, and the guys on the O-line, they pretty experienced that I'm playing with. So we, we really all just really try to keep everybody calm. And I don't think we have too much, like, I guess, nervous feeling within the offense because a lot of us played a lot of ball. So really we just, we just tell each other we got each other back and we're going to do your job. Two new faces there, kind of rotating in at right guard. What do you see from those those guys at right guard? Oh, hard work is great effort. Um, both of them, both of them came from JUCO, so they uh, they just got here this year. So, but they they very good players. Well, um, coach made a great play call coming down. We had a great drive, which is a great play call, great execution. Uh, you kind of got a knack as a tight end for, for making touchdowns. Uh, a lot of tight ends don't score a lot of touchdowns. You've done that the last couple of years. What's the secret, man? Man, just trying to be a playmaker, trying to be a part of the offense, trying to be effective. How fun is it in this offense this year that the tight ends are more a part of, uh, you know, the catching part of it? It's very fun. I like Coach Credit plan. He got a great plan for us, very detailed. Be able to try to like execute, get us the ball. And last question for me, as a tight end, you got to do a lot of blocking too. Do you enjoy that part of the game? It's it's part of the game. You got to do it. Got to love it. Uh, you guys have a lot of weapons on offense that you can throw to. Uh, I want to talk about one specifically, Jabri Barber. What have you seen on his progression, and what does he mean to this uh, Trojan offense? Well, Jabri means a, a very huge factor of the offense. He does great things for us, very detailed, kind of work every day. He's going to be a great player, great player in the future. Did you guys ever meet up in high school? No, nah, we never played. Yeah, I pray. Um, this offense has sort of found its rhythm in the second half of the first two, two games. How do you translate that into the first half of, against App State on Saturday, knowing uh, that it's you know not just that it's a big game, but it's it's a Sun Belt Conference game. Well, coming out ready to play, ready to be detailed, execution, ready to be dialed in, and ready to come, you know, handle business. When you watch that App State defense, what do you notice? Uh, what do you? What are some things you guys think that you could potentially do to be successful against them? Well. Great, we gotta have a great run scheme, great run action. We gotta have great, just blocking all around, great holding up, um, just making play a lot around. But they say this, but that's, we feel like that's a great weakness for us. And then personally, my last question for you. Uh, I watched you out there on the field side. You play with a lot of energy. Um, you're, you know, blocking, you know, going a little bit beyond the whistle there. A lot of, you know, what what do you where's your passion for for this game come from? Well, from my background, really, from where I came from, my background, I just take it personal every time I come out there on the field.